Some would say I had a sleeping problem, bedtime consisted of complex evil stories told by a grandmother or maybe a copy of strange tales I had tucked under my mattress. These were the things that helped me get to sleep, what I think worried me the most at night, was the dark or maybe it was the town of the Red River. Let me clarify, the dark is the feeling you get when something is off or not right, the night after Mr. Black left the house, an uneasy feeling that clung to me, followed me. At times it was infectious. From my bedroom window, I could see across the road, right across from grandmother's house was the abandoned St. Mary's Catholic Church. Years before I ever came to know this strange place as home, Father Valentine was said to have to fallen in love with a local woman, after hearing her confession. Something dark took a hold of the best of men here and made them do some strange things, one Saturday after Mass. Father Valentine drunk off of the communion wine, pleaded with the young woman, the woman who felt betrayed by the father, snapped and decided to send most of this evil town back to hell. Knocking Father Valentine down, she ran toward the anointing oil, dumping it all over her and the front door of the church. She then grabbed one of them candles that you light as you walk in, lighting herself and the church on fire, burning and killing thirty of the townspeople en masse. Most of the church still stood, the cemetery was still in use, a new church was built toward the center of town, but St. Mary's still stood as a reminder that, not all crushes end in happiness. At times when I can't sleep I stare out the window, looking for something, anything. I guess in my mind, if something like that happened at a place, they would be trapped there. Grandfather used to say something I didn't get, until I moved to Red River, I feel for the damned I couldn't tell you if this was a special night, or things at Red River were just coming to a head. But I thought I seen a flicker of a burning candle in one of the broken windows of the old church. Curiosity is the enemy of a child, curiosity itself is an evil thing, it has lead children down wells and dark places, it gives us the tools to explore, but not the ones to escape the pits or creatures it sends us to find. For a moment I thought I could ignore the light, I reached under my mattress and fished out my copy of Strange Tales, as I did a piece of notebook paper fall onto the floor. To my surprise it was another note from Jack. Forgotten things lay at the light signed S.J. Was he talking about the light in the church I wondered? Fighting the urge to go out, I jumped out of bed and made my way down the hall to Ethan's room, Mason was a hard sleeper, later in life he had fallen asleep with a cigarette badly burning himself and many others in the apartment building where he lived at the time. I guess it's true what they say about fire, at least here in Red River, it is the destroyer of worlds. I managed to wake up Ethan as well as convince him into sneaking out and over to the church to investigate. I managed to collect a few things as we went down the hall and down the stairs, toward the front door. With a flashlight in hand and a baseball bat in the other, we quickly and quietly made our way to the church. The front door had been boarded up, Ethan grabbed the baseball bat and smashed the old wooden slats to splinters. Once inside the church had seen better days, much of it was still black and burnt, one would think that after a few years the smell would leave. But it lingered and was very strong, the air felt heavy, among the ashes old Bibles partly burnt, rested nicely in a pile. This wasn't a church anymore this was a tomb. Quicker than one's mind could analyze, what was happening six tiny lights darted around the church, reminding me of light and bugs on a warm summer night. Circled and danced around us as if they were alive. Ethan reached out to grab one, but they moved away toward the center of the church and went into the floor. Ethan I think they're trying to show us something, saying as I walked past him toward where they had dissipated. Moving a few of the burnt Bibles, I found a set of keys. Stay paranoid my friends.